Hey, welcome to Earth Science Around the World. Today we are continuing our meteorology unit and we are looking at weather station models. We'll do a quick review of wind speed and direction and then we will look at where they put the temperature, the dew point, how they use those two uh, points to look at what the chance of rain would be and how we represent the present weather. So let's get started. A little bit of view of the wind speed. We measure wind speed in what's called knots, and that's similar to miles per hour, um, but not quite. If it's calm, if there's no wind, you draw a circle with a dot. Um, five knots, which is very low wind, you have a little half feather, short feather. Ten knots is a long feather, and then you add those together as you go. So if you have a long and a short, the long one is worth ten, the short one is worth five, ten plus five is fifteen. And two long ones is twenty, two long ones and a short one is twenty-five three long ones, each worth 10, 10, 20, 30, 30 knots. Three long ones and a short one, 30 plus five, 35 knots. So which weather station, based on looking at the little feathers off the tail, would show you where the wind is blowing the strongest? We've got this guy here, and this is how many knots? 10 plus 10 plus 5, 25. And this one is 10 plus 5, 15. So this one would show you that the wind is blowing the strongest. And which weather station shows you the calmest day? Well, this is the wind is calmer here on this side. So what we're going to look at is how do they come up with this chance of rain? A lot of times you hear meteorologists say, Oh, on Saturday, there will be a 30% chance of rain, and then it will be clear, and then on Wednesday, we'll have a 50% chance of rain. So how do they do this? What factors do they look at in order to come up with this chance of rain? The first thing that they look at is the temperature, and we measure temperature with a thermometer, and that tells you whether it's warm or cold. Um, and that is important in relationship to something called the dew point. And the dew point is the temperature at which water vapor becomes dew. And dew is those little droplets of water that collect on grass. Sometimes if you wake up early in the morning, you see all those little water droplets on the grass. Or when water vapor in the air um, comes together, and condenses onto um, some particle and forms water droplets. That's the dew point, the temperature at which water vapor turns into dew. And we measure that with a sling psychrometer. The sling psychrometer has a, um, a wet bulb and a dry bulb. The wet bulb just has a little cloth sock at the end that you dip into the water and you sling it around. You swing it around in a circle for about a minute. And what that does is the water evaporates into the air off of the wet sock. Now you can think about a if you ever hang your clothes out to dry. Now if it's a really warm, sunny, dry day and you hang your clothes out, well, will they dry quickly or will they take a long time to dry? They'll probably dry pretty quickly. If you hang your clothes out to dry on a misty, um, possible it might rain a very moist day, then they're not going to dry. So that's why you kind of wait for a nice warm sunny day to hang clothes out to dry. So that is what's happening here. Um, the, the wet sock, as you sling it around, the water is evaporating off of the wet sock and that affects the temperature. And you compare the temperature of the wet sock to the wet bulb to the dry bulb and you can look at it a chart and it gives you the dew point. So when the temperature is close to the dew point there is a chance of rain and that's what we need to know for the purpose of this lesson. So here we have is there a chance of rain? We have the temperature is 76 and the dew point is 55. Is there a chance that the weather, the temperature would be 76 degrees? Picture a 76 degree day. Maybe you're wearing a light little sweater like I am. 
Do you think it might drop all the way to 55 degrees? Probably not. So maybe slightly. So on a day like this, you might say there might be like a 5% chance of rain, but most likely it's going to be a pretty clear day. I like the way they drew the sky and the sky cover there. Okay, what about this one? Is there a chance of rain? Why? Okay, temperature is 64 and the dew point is 62. Is there a chance that the temperature would drop from 64 to 62? Yes, so there's a pretty high chance of rain on this day. Very good. Here we have 80 is the temperature and 76 is the dew point. Yes, I would say there's a pretty good chance of rain on this day because the temperature and the dew point are close together. What about on this? We got temperature of 31, dew point of 20. If it's 31 degrees, how likely is it that the temperature would drop to 20 on that day? Yeah, maybe, maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't. So you might say like 50% chance of rain on a day like that. So that is how they come up with this. You know, here the temperature and the dew point were probably like somewhat close, but pretty far apart. Here, you know, if you have a temperature of 72 and say a dew point of 40, there's no chance to rain. It's gonna be nice and clear. And here the dew point must have been closer. That's how they come up with that. So then on this weather station, we also put the present weather. And I love these symbols. They're like kind of look like alien communication symbols. Um, so this little doodad is a drizzle, a dot is rain, this little funny little guy is smog, a triangle for hail, thunderstorm's pretty cool, I like that. Rain showers, snow, sleet, freezing rain, fog, haze, and snow showers. Ooh, that's the one for school closing. Ooh, -hoo, snow showers, we always look forward to that one. This is on your reference table, you do not have to memorize it. And they place the present weather between the temperature and the dew point. That's where it goes on the weather station. So let's try and figure this one out. What is the percent of cloud cover here? 50%, right? Half of the little circle is covered in 50% cloud cover. What is the current temperature? 73. What's the dew point? 71. What is the wind direction? It's coming this way. So it's coming northwest. It's coming from the northwest. Wind speed. Two long ones. 20. Present weather. Two little dots. I don't have two little dots. Oh, haze? I think that's a easy way that they did haze. So two little dots. Two little dots, the haze. Okay, percent cloud cover. What do you think? 100%, totally cloudy day. Current temperature, 85. Dew point, 70. Is there a chance of rain? Maybe, might rain this day. If it's 85 and it drops to 70 at night, like, yeah. Think about those summer days where it's like 85 and nice out, and then at night the temperature drops, and then you get what? What's that a symbol for? Do you remember? It's the cool one. Yeah, thunderstorms. Thunder, thunder, thunderstorms. Um, and the wind direction is northeast. Wind speed, long one, long one, short one, 25. Present weather, thunderstorms. All right, let's take a look at this one. This is interesting because we have, okay, 100% cloud cover, which means it's currently precipitating. Is it raining? What do we look at? The temperature, yeah. What do you notice about the temperature? 17, is that warm? That's pretty cold. That is pretty cold. The freezing point of water is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and this is below. So the temperature is 17, the dew point is 17, 
So it must be currently precipitating because they're exactly alike. We got this triangle with a dot, triangle with a dot, sleet, squiggly line with a dot, freezing rain. So the precipitation that's falling at this time is frozen because the temperature is very cold. Dew point, 17, wind direction, got the northwest, wind speed, two long ones, 20 knots. And we did the present weather. And get out there, go for a run, get some sunshine. It's really good for you. I hope this helped you out. There's some castle learnings for you to do. Mwah. My love to you always. Have a great day, guys.